color is Andy, he's gonna help us to do some upper body exercise that's gonna help us uh, during our Jiu Jitsu training. Please, Ricardo. Hello, guys. So, here we go. I wanna make sure I have uh, open legs, okay? And I wanna make sure I have my, my back in a good angle. Okay? I'm gonna point, I'm gonna point my head to the ground, the top of my head to the ground, and I'm gonna slowly go down and up. Okay? So here we're gonna do a push-up, is that an angle? I look towards between my, my legs, right? Then I do the work workout here for my shoulders. Ten times. You're gonna do one set of ten times, and then you're gonna do at least more two. So make sure you keep your legs spread. Point your head to the ground. Like this. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Now we're gonna do a core, another core exercise that pretty much you're gonna work all your whole body. He's gonna sit with his flat back on the floor, he's gonna bend his knees, try to close as much as he can, and I'm gonna step like this on his foot. Now I'm gonna put my whole back against the floor and I can even take my hip out of the floor so to enhance my weight, the weight that I'm posing on his foot so he won't be able to move the foot. So he's gonna try to do a, a full sit up and he's gonna touch my shoulder. Go. One, two, three, four, Come on, give me ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, relax. So try to do at least three sets of ten. Okay, now we're gonna do a guide pass. A very simple but very effective. So I'm here with him. You gotta just keep one thing in your mind. When I pass in some guy, some, somebody's guard, I cannot be on the middle. If I stay on the middle, I'm very vulnerable. So I'm, or I'm away, or I'm pretty much inside, okay? So I'm here kind of outside, away from his legs, and grabbing his pants here. Look what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna dive my arm inside, and I'm gonna throw his leg inside my leg. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come here, and then I'm gonna, boom, throw my shoulder down, and hold, his leg here. You see, I drop my shoulder in order to reach, my shoulder reach the back of his leg. If it don't drop much, if I'm here and I do this, it's gonna be my arm against his leg and I'm gonna lose. So I'm here, I kind of drop down, look. So my shoulder in my arm is stretching here so he cannot play with this this uh, this leg. So I grab as soon, as, far, as, as quick as I can, I grab his lapel here, and he's gonna be trying to defend, yeah, whatever. So look, I put my hand already underneath his leg, I keep moving, and I grab his pants. Look, I keep moving, I grab his pants. When I grab his pants, I have to close my elbow. I have to close my elbow. If I open my elbow here, he's gonna push my elbow away. Look, he's gonna be over the guard. So I close my elbow, push my elbow away, yeah, he can. So now, I put my knee here by his ankle, I put his leg, in the back of his foot, and now I, I kind of don't let him take the leg away. I hold. Now I stretch, I stretch my right leg back, and I pass. When I pass, when I pass, I don't let. Come again. Come again. Yeah, when I pass here, look, I step on the foot, my knees are not empty, I stretch my leg, I don't let the pants go. I keep the pants because one of the one of his way out 
He's trying to escape the hit. Here we go again. I'm, gonna, I'm kind of aware of his body. I'm going to dive. He's not going to be, he's gonna, yeah, he's going to be fighting me. His, his foot is out of the floor. If his foot is on the floor, I'm going to do something different. Okay? With the next step. So here, I'm here, I'm going to throw his legs inside, his, his leg here inside my leg, and I'm going to dive my hand under his knee, my shoulder under his knee, look, I go there, boom, I grab the lapel, and now once here, I keep passing to the side, I grab the pants, I keep pushing, I lock my elbow, I'm going to stretch my right leg, and I'm going to pass, and I'm going to keep holding the pants. One more time for another angle. I'm gonna dive his leg inside my leg and I'm gonna try to stick my shoulder under his knee. Oh, I see, that was a good one. I grab this lapel, I keep going to the side, I lock my elbow, I grab his pants, I bring his foot up to the ceiling, and then I adjust my grip here, and I'm gonna stretch my right leg. set a series of back attacks. Now, the most important thing is this. So I gotta make sure that I have the blade of my arm on his chest and this hand here covering the hand that's gonna make the choke. So I'm, I'm gonna protect this hand. This is okay but this is bad. That's what I want. Okay? So whenever I grab my, my, my partner here I don't press too much this way. I just lock my elbows. That's it. It's gonna make a whole uh, a big difference because what I don't want intimately is to don't lose control of my chest to his back, right? So I'm here, my knees are beside his knee, okay? My leg is kind of 90 degrees. I'm gonna pass my hand. When I pass my hand here, I'm gonna step on the floor here, and I'm gonna step on the floor with the other leg. Look what I'm going to do, I'm here, I'm going to step, I make my grip, I step here, I step here, and I fall over my left shoulder. When I fall over my left shoulder, this leg here cleans the floor, and I make sure I have one, at least one hook, okay? If this hook here, when I get here, everything, uh, uh, it opens a lot of opportunities, all right? So we're gonna discuss from there. Yes. Okay, let's do the same move from the other side. And again, you gotta know that my knee is beside his knee here. My other hand is flat on the floor, but I'm making a 90 degree angle. I pass my hand, I make my grip. The plate of my arm is on his chest. I'm gonna hold this hand here, not this. I have to protect this hand. So now I'm gonna step and I'm going to step with the other, the other leg on the floor. And now I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit down towards my right shoulder here. Okay? So, so shoot for here, shoot for here. So, he's holding a little bit. So you see he's holding a little bit, but he cannot fight. No. And now it's easier. When he reacts a little bit, it's easier to pass this hook. This is the most important hook. Now with this hook, I close this and that's what I want. And I'm going to stop here. And from, from now on, it really depends on what he's going to do. Repeat again. And we're going to cover one scenario possible here. One of the most common scenarios. So my leg, my knee is beside his knee here. My leg is like making a 90, 90 degrees angle here. I'm going to pass my hand. I'm going to pass my hand. I step, I sit. And I'm going to clean the floor with this head here. Look, with this leg. Look, my shoulder right foot, shoulder on the floor, and now, when I try to put this hook, he's going to defend. He's going to, don't, he won't allow, so I don't care too much. As soon as I, 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 I come here, I lock my legs, and now, in this scenario here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Grab this shoulder, this hand is going to slide, and I'm going to grab like this. The beauty of this, this move is that you can do it without the gear and with the gear. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna lock my elbow towards my body on his back. I'm gonna be facing him here, and I close my elbows, and now I'm gonna stretch my legs. Don't allow him to go away too much from my the distance between my head to his head.
make my grip, I step, I fall over my right, left shoulder. It's going to defend here. I defend, I grab the shoulder, I pass my hand, and I lock the arm. It's going to defend. You see, I'm going to allow him to defend. Defend, defend, defend. Yeah, look, I put my face there. Now I stretch and I keep it there. Hi, everyone. And those difficult times, we cannot forget the most important lesson that Jiu Jitsu gave to us. You gotta be strong. We cannot ever give up. And after this problem pass, we're gonna be stronger, we're gonna be tougher, we're gonna be better people, better person, we're gonna be a better person. So if you cannot do what you must do right now, just do what you can. And that's why we're here trying to help you. But one thing is certain, you're gonna be back. And we're gonna be back stronger. Thank you.